Hi everyone, I just thought I'd show you my new little little mini tree. I will show you my big tree at one point, at some point in the Vlogmas. Um, but I just thought that was really cute. I have it out in my hallway, but I thought I'd bring it in here for today so that I could do it, show you. Um, so, what I've done for today is I have, <coughs> excuse me, um, I found the witch's runes that I was going to show you ages ago and never got around to it because time just ran away with me. So, that's that. Oh, sorry, let me just try and smooth that out a little bit. Won't be perfect, I know, but we'll do our best. Okay, so... I bought these um, from Etsy. I will put the link to the shop up in the description below because I can't actually remember um, the name of the shop. I'm not quite sure whether it has it on the little leaflet inside. Um, so I bought these. Um, I think I think it's something like Green Sea Witch or Sea Witch. Um, I'll find the link anyway. So they come in a little um, like a velvet bag. Um, I know that you can um, choose the design that you want, different colours, so different colour combinations. I know that you can definitely do that. So um, these are a set of witches' runes, which are, I don't know much about these, um, but they are different from just um, ordinary like Viking runes, Nordic runes. Um, so these are witches' runes and I um, haven't really started using them yet, but... I'm going to plan to start using them a little bit more. So that will all be good. Um, this is one of them. And they're kind of on um, like that's those pebbles that you find on the beach. They are all lovely and smooth and beautifully painted. So, you know, there's a spiral. So I'm, I don't know, see I'm, these are brand new for me, so I'm, um, I'm not kind of used to using them and I don't know the meaning, so I've got them all printed out. So I'm learning them too, um, so they look like question marks to me, but probably not what they mean. Um, beautiful, I love them though, the, I, the colours are great, I love the purple and black, I think there was like a turquoisey colour that you could have, um, but I decided to go for the purple. So, lovely. It's like a half moon. That reminds me of a little bit of the Airesy sort of sign. So, that's the set of runes um, that I got. Uh, they come with a little instruction leaflet that basically tells you um what rune means what um so yeah really really nice um i just it's just it's just i've just basically printed it out so there we go um i did get a special um sized version of this but it wasn't big enough for me to be able to read properly um without putting on super duper strength glasses so i've printed it out a little bit bigger so i could read it properly so that is what um what we have in the pouch so what i'll do for today is i'll put them in the pouch and i'll pull one out for us see what we get It'll be an adventure won't it let's just see but i just fancied something a little bit different um and i can remember as a kid being on the beach and just like picking up lots of stones like these um so it's quite a quite sort of nostalgic for me so i'm just going to put them in the bag and give them a little bit of a a move about and then i'll have a rummage i'll put the bag down there so you can see me do it and ooh, let's have this one so this one see this looks like a crossroads to me there we go. Let's have a look on the little list and see what it says. Wow, there you go. It says crossroads. Use this symbol to 
for magic if you are going through a big change and you wish to bring change into your life or you have a decision to make so really beautiful um energy um there it's a bit i suppose like the hanged man or the two of swords that kind of energy so it's just talking about being at a bit of a crossroads and um of being able to move forward and using this energy to help you to make the right sort of choices for yourself love it really really cute i love these little things um so that's our runes but i also got i haven't really done very much with this either i'm terrible i buy things um with all these good intentions about let's get let's do this let's do it let's do a fun thing with this and and i just run out of time it's a nightmare um i don't know where all my time goes either but i've got this little thing called tarot in a tin um which is basically a set of little charms represent representing the tarot and a dice so you've got this um i think it is a 13 i think it is a 13 sided dice um so you can throw the dice to um see which um minor arcana card you've got so that would be a nine um or a four or a seven sorry you can't see properly or a 12 so that that's your dice that shows you all the um like for the minor arcana and then you have um you have charms in here which are representing the major arcana so this is the tower and this is the sun sorry there we go um and the star see some of them i find them quite hard i think that's probably the lovers um i know that's the hermit because it's just the lamp but i haven't really studied them greatly i think the magician is the infinity sign um is our strength i think i think the book is judgment but don't quote me on that um that's the empress and the devil whoops the devil fell off This is a little extra one that you get, which is a squirrel. And um, I'm not quite sure what that is all about. Um, this is the jester, which is the fool. And the wheel. That's from the minor arcana. This is the world. And death is the little skeleton. Whoops. So easy to drop these. This is the hanged man. See, I think those are the cups. Actually, I think this is temperance. justice I think that maybe that's judgment see I need to go through these properly and have a really good think about what's what um, that's cups for the cups that's the king that's for the king and the queen for the minor arcana yeah that's what that is uh, that's the chariot and the moon and then you have um so you have the king the queen
this is for the wands. That's pentacles. And there's a little sword for the swords. And there's a little cup for the cup. So I do wonder if that book was maybe for the pages and that whether this squirrel is for the knights, which is a little bit weird. I would have thought it would have been a horse. Um, but as far as I can remember, they didn't come with any um, instructions about what was what. So I need to go back and put, I, I can have a little, um, I'll look and see what I've got. Um, but unfortunately they came at a time when things were really busy and I just didn't have time to look it through them properly. Um, so, yeah, I'm not quite sure. Um, but I'll put the link up to where I got those as well. So hopefully you've enjoyed that little trip with um, into a few little oddments that I've got. And um, I hope I'll be able to put another video up for us tomorrow for Vlogmas Day 13. This was for Day 12. So thank you very much for watching. And I will catch up with you all tomorrow. Please do give the video a like and share it if you like, if you know people that like this sort of thing. Um, I'll try to put a bit more information about the tarot in the tin um, up for you in um, the description down below. Because um, I wasn't able to really give you loads of information. I should have printed it out first really. But this is a kind of a bit of an off the cuff um, video for this evening. So thank you for watching and I'll see you all next time. Bye for now.